Whenever I make iPhone tips videos, they're always about things that I think are practical, the kind of stuff most anybody would use. But a lot of this stuff just seems to be a bit hidden. I don't know why that is, but today I'll uncover five super practical tips that'll make using your iPhone a lot better. Hi, my name is Rich. If you're new to the channel, I make easy to follow videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad without going nuts. And the without going nuts part, that's the main thing. And today's video is no exception. And if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, please consider subscribing. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to scan documents directly into the Files app. This is super handy. How to set a photo timer when taking pictures, and if you have an Apple Watch, how to use it to trigger your iPhone camera. I'll show you a couple of cool calculator tips, and I can't believe I'm saying cool and calculator in the same sentence, but there you have it. I'll show you how to screen unknown phone callers and filter spam texts, which is huge, and then a quick tip when using the clock alarm. Okay, let's get started. I don't know if you know this, but you can scan documents with your iPhone. You don't have to go buy a scanner program. I actually bought one years ago and I use it, but now with the iPhone, you can just scan a document directly into Apple Notes. You can scan it into files. I tend to keep stuff in the Files app, and so I'm going to show you today how to scan something directly into the Files app. So I've got the Files app here on my home screen. If you open that up, I've created a folder called My Scans, and that way I know it's something I've scanned and that's where I'm going to store it. Sometimes I put stuff in there and then I go move it around at a later date, but I at least get it scanned in there. So I've got that in the Files app. Now to scan directly into that folder, I'm just going to, I'll bring out something that I can scan easily. I'm just going to tap and hold on that and I'm going to just go down to Scan Document just like that. So I'll put this there and there it automatically scanned it and now I'll just click the little yes thing and now it'll ask me where I want to save it. I'm going to go to my scans and then I'm just going to tap save and just like that I've scanned something directly into the files app. So if I open up my scans and I open up the scan document there you have it just as simple as can be. And that's just a quick way to scan a document and get it stored in your Files app. The next thing I want to show you is how to set a timer on your phone. Now, this is really handy at holidays or whatever when you've got a little tripod or something that you can stick your iPhone on and you want to run around and take a picture of yourself along with everybody else. I did it this Christmas. And I'll show you how to do that. If you open up the camera app, and you go up to these three dots. You can choose timer. You can set it for three seconds, five seconds, ten seconds, or back out of it. Another way to do that is just to swipe up from here, which is a little bit easier, and you can set it that way as well. Just like that. So if I set this up, and I'm going to try to take a picture of this little thing that my daughter got me. I'm just going to swipe up. I'll set it on timer. We'll set it on three seconds. And you'll notice you're going to get a countdown of uh, one, two, three over here on the side. And it'll also flash up here so that the people in front of you know when it's about to be taken. So I'm just going to tap on that. There you'll see right down here in the corner, three, two, one. And it took the picture. And there it is. And now you can, you know, look at it, whatever you want to do. And that's just an easy way to set a timer on that. So now I just want to show you how you can use your Apple Watch to actually trigger your phone. So I've got my Apple Watch connected to this iPhone. And I'm just going to set it there and I'm going to bring in my Apple Watch so that you can see that. And if you just open up your Apple Watch and you go to Camera Remote, on your Apple Watch, it automatically opens the camera up on your phone. And there you can just kind of get it set where you want it to be set like that. All you have to do is tap the button on your phone, gives the countdown, and it takes the picture. Just like that. And you can just trigger it using the camera remote on your Apple Watch. I think that's pretty cool. 
Okay, the next thing I want to show you is just a couple of little tips for the calculator. There's a new calculator app with the uh, iPhone. I'm running iOS 26 on an iPhone 17 here. If you open up the calculator app, you just get a typical, you know, calculator like you'd think, and you could 56 times 20 equals, and you could just do any kind of math you want on that. Sometimes it's handy though when you've done some other type of uh, mathematical equation or something with a calculator to keep track of it. And if you notice up here in the corner, there's a little clock, and if you tap on that, you can go back and see other things that you've done with a calculator. So for example, here's one where I added a whole bunch of numbers together. And maybe I want to remember all of those numbers. So it's just handy to be able to go back and look at it. Here's what I just did just a minute ago. And if you clear it out, you can still go back to what I did today just a minute ago, or what I did yesterday, that kind of thing. So that's one little handy tip on this. Now also, if you go up in this corner, you'll see a little icon of a calculator. If you tap on that, there's other calculators in here. So there's scientific, which I'm not going to get into because I'm not an engineer and most of this stuff I couldn't figure out if I wanted to. But it's there if you do know how to do science, use a scientific calculator. You can also do math notes. This is kind of interesting. If you do a math note here, and let's just do a new one, and we'll say um, trip cost. We'll just we'll give this math note a title, and then we go in here and we start doing some math. So maybe we're going to rent a room at the beach at two hundred and fifty dollars a night, and it's going to be um, for three nights. So we'll just multiply that times three, and if you see, it just saves it right up there just like that and you can save that note and now you've got a math note and the interesting thing about that of course is you can go back in here and you can go to your math notes from within the calculator but if you go to Apple Notes it actually saves your math notes in Apple Notes as well so I can just pull up my little trip cost note right there just like that from within Apple Notes so it stores it in two places both in the calculator and in Apple Notes. Also if you go back up here to the calculator, we'll go back to basic and we'll tap it again and we'll just go to convert and this is kinda handy so here you've got you can convert different things so here I'm converting kilometers to miles so if I clear that out and I want to know how many miles are in 500 kilometers it's 310. You can also choose different things to convert so if you tap on that and you want to do let's say currency and we'll say uh, maybe the euro we'll choose that and to US dollars so we'll clear that out and we'll say um, how much is 250 euros is 290 US dollars and I guess it keeps up uh, somehow in the background with what the exchange rate is so it's just a handy little way to convert stuff and you can do all kinds of things like that. You can go in and you can convert uh, angles, area. There's all kinds of things in here. Length. This is one for me. You know, if I want to know a millimeter, you know, tw 20 or 50 millimeters is, uh, we'll convert that to, say, inches, is 1.96 inches. So 50 millimeters is almost 2 inches. I probably learned that somewhere in high school, but I don't remember it now, and this is just a handy way to do it. So that's a cool little thing on the calculator. Next thing I want to show you is something really important, and that's how to screen unknown callers coming into your phone and how to filter out spam text. Now these are just two things that attack me every day. I get calls all the time from people I don't know, and I just, I'm tired of answering the phone and looking at it. So if you go into settings, and you scroll down to apps and then we'll go to the phone first we'll scroll down to the phone and we'll tap on that and then if you go down here you've got some choices and here you can screen unknown callers so you can set it to never which means all the unknown callers will come through you can set it to ask reason for calling and that's an interesting choice and what happens when you set it there 
uh, Siri actually comes on and answers the phone, asks for the reason that the person is calling, and then it will show you the reason that you know, whatever their response was on the screen. And if you want to answer it, you can answer it and the phone will ring and you can make your decision then, which is kind of cool. It's almost like you've got a secretary answering the phone for you. Or you can just put it on silence. And this just all calls that come in that are from unsaved numbers, things you don't have in your contacts are just going to be silenced. And I'll just tell you, I, I've been brutal on this. For me, I'm so tired of receiving calls uh, that I don't want to receive. I just put it on silence. All of my family, all of my important contacts are in there. And by the way, if, if, if somebody calls you and they're an unknown caller and then they call back in just a, a minute or two because it's urgent, the iPhone will allow that call to break through. So it's not like super important calls you're going to miss. So I've just left it on uh, silence and that's that's how I do that. You can also actually filter out unknown callers, and I've got that turned on as well. So now if I go back over here to my phone app, and I've got all these calls that are over here, I can go up to the top, and if I want to look at missed calls, I can do that. If I want to look at um, unknown callers, I've got them in here too. And if there is a call that comes in that from an unknown caller, meaning they're not in my contacts, I can actually mark them as known here in this area and then that those calls will be allowed to come through. So it's just a handy way to finally get rid of all of those pestering calls that uh, drive people nuts, including me. And you can also filter out uh, spam messages that come into your um, the messages app. If we go over and we tap on settings again and we go down to apps and we go to messages right there and we kind of scroll down again we can screen unknown senders so we can hide notifications and move messages to the unknown senders list so I just turn that on and then I can filter out spam hide notifications and move mess messages to the spam list so I just turn that on as well and now when I go back over to my messages app I can go up here to the little filter icon and now if I've got unknown senders they would show up here. If I've got spam it would show up there and then I can always go back to messages and have my list of messages there. So again these two tips of filtering out unknown callers and filtering out spam messages in the messages app is just super super handy. Okay the last thing I want to talk about is just uh, the clock alarm. You know, you've got a clock app on here, and if you open it up, you know, you got world clock, you've got alarms, you got a stopwatch, you got timers, stuff like that. But if you're in a hurry and just want to set an alarm to wake you up in the morning, all you got to do is just again tap and hold on that and just create alarm just like that, and you can set it. So maybe you're going to set it for 6:30 like that AM and we're going to give that a label um, we'll just call that uh, morning wake up like that and now we're going to tap on that and we've got something called morning wake up right there as an alarm and we can turn that on turn it off and we've got it saved likewise again you know if you need to set a timer you can just tap it and set a timer um, you can you know tap it on there and just put four minutes and you've got a four minute timer that's running and you can do that all by just pressing and holding the clock likewise you can you can start a stopwatch just like that if you need to get a stopwatch going quickly just like that pretty handy and a practical little tip too well, there you have it. Five simple yet practical tips on how to use your iPhone. If you made it this far, I hope the video was worth your time. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.